Hello guys, shall we here exploring Danganronpa to see where that little piece was from? So let's just start with the nursery. Uh, is this a nursery? Is that how you would call it? It says nurse, but it's probably not a nursery, but because we're not children that young, I guess. Um, maybe the gym? It is very possible that it is in the gym. Let's see. Uh, there. Honestly, I'm getting kind of bored looking at it. Damn. Okay. Manokuma thing is still there. Yep. I figured it wouldn't be here. You know? Oh, so it's part of the bomb. I just found something. Huh? Hmm. So it's a bomb. What? What? There's one stall in every Monokuma robot. Hmm. So. Okay, I've checked everything I can think of. All that's left now is Kyoko's room. That's uh, that's interesting. So how did the bomb get to Kyoko? Was it Toko? She was just like... Hmm... So I need to find... Uh... Byakuya. Where do you think Byakuya is? Let's see. Uh, he doesn't seem to be in any place here. Let's go try to Kyo go into Kyoko's room. Maybe that's what the game wants me to do. Despair Hotel. So... Mm. Okay, so Byakuya should be back in the garden, so I have to go all the way there. I'm getting a, I'm getting a hang of, the, of where everything is in this school though, so it's good. I am a... Um, Learning to move around. This way, right? Not this way. Now, right. Yep. And now, this way. Do you think that I can just do this and it would tell me who is everywhere and if I put there and it's Kyoko is gonna tell me Kyoko? Oh, it doesn't say Kyoko, not even Kyoko's corpse. Oh well. So... Oh, was this it? I think so, right? Okay, I'm ready to go, Yakuya. Let's go. I wanted to check Kyoko's room, right? Okay. So... Can I just enter? <laughs> I have to ask Byakuya to do it. <laughs> well then, here we go. Byakuya took out the key and slid it into the keyhole. And then... <laughs> it's open. Alright. So, this is Kyoko's room. It is particularly unimpressive. The only thing is that the bed is pink. There's something on the table. It's a wood block decoration. What? What's that? What purpose does it serve? I think it's probably a key. The lockers at those really traditional public bathhouses use them. Hmm. Uh, I wouldn't know, I've never gone to a public bathhouse. That doesn't really surprise me. It's hard to picture Biagoya doing something like that. It's certainly possible. But if it is a key, I think it might uh, I might know what it unlocks. Hmm. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm pretty sure I saw something in the dojo that this might go to. 
Okay, we have a clue now. And that's about it, because there's nothing else here. Not even the drawer, I cannot open it. Let's go to the bathroom then. She might have certain articles hanging out to dry. I'd better not look inside. Really? Okay, so I guess we leave now. What? You wanted to come here, right? So what are you looking for? Nothing in particular, I just thought we might find some kind of clue. Uh come on. So he's not interested in understanding Kyoko. Earlier, Coco gave me something. It's true. Considered a symbol of my determination. Don't open it yet. Only open it if something ever happens to me. So something has happened to her. Can I open it? Hmm. What's in that envelope? Kyoko gave it to me. She said if something ever happened, I should open it. Hmm. Interesting. Yep. I opened the envelope and looked inside, and inside a single piece of paper. Under the sheets. What? Uh, under the sheets, what could it be? What could it be? What could it possibly mean? Do you think, Makoto, that that's the case? I found a crumpled up piece of paper. So she said she gave him a piece of paper to find other piece of paper. Good job. Uh, S. Student Registry Mukuro Ikosaba I see It appears to be Mukuro Ikosaba's profile That's probably the other thing Kyoko stole when she snuck into the Headmaster's room uh, This must be the blank that Monokuma was talking about Oh, Kian. I, I thought he was saying uh, some kind of profanity, but nope, it was something missing. Okay. Kyoko said that death without meaning was unappealing, and this is what she left behind. Hmm. I don't have time for your sentimental indulgences. Uh, I made an effort to pull myself together and look down at the profile. Mokuro Ikusaba, I have heard that name so many times. Sex female, the ultimate soldier. Although small for her age, she was a military specialist trained in every weapon type imaginable. That's Kyoko. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and soon found herself completely absorbed in it. During elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Just before entering middle school, while she and her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly took over Japan. Okay. An intense international investigation turned up no information. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later, alone and completely unannounced. She revealed that she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir for those three years. She insisted that she hadn't been kidnapped that she'd received battle training of her own volition. However, she never revealed why she decided to return home when she did. That sounds exactly like what I would imagine Kyoko doing or being. Or maybe that is Mokuro Ikusaba and she was trained with Kyoko and they know each other and she followed her and rigged the game in the school for Kyoko so Kyoko was the target all along maybe so the ultimate soldier this doesn't feel real the world I grew up in all right uh, I see I never imagined I would hear the name Fenrir in a place like this what you recognize Naturally. it yeah, the Fenrir Mercenary Corps is a collection of battle crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses, they always get the job done. 
This is all part of a world totally removed from the one I live in. Hmm. I have to say, I am intrigued. Every rumor I've heard says that Fenrir has already... Found it! Wow. I feel like our hero is becoming a bit player and a bit player is becoming our hero. What? What? So it's you. Wow. Uh, what have you got in your pretty little hand there? What? So you found her profile? So what if we did? Hey! Don't Come freak me out. Don't freak out on me. I'm not gonna hold it against you or anything. And in case you're wondering, I don't hold it against Kyoko either, even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no rule against stealing. Uh, but who I can't forgive is Miss Ogami, who broke the rules. Uh, maybe I'll track her corpse out here and slice it up and devour it. What? Any rule violations really so unforgivable? You are quite adamant about those regulations of yours. <sighs> of course I am. A proper school life is built on dedication to organization and order. Which is why even I, at the school, as the schoolmaster, have to follow the regulations myself. That is very interesting. That is very um, enlightening. So we can use that against him, and we will end up using it probably. So you're saying you have to follow your own rules as well? Of course! Absolutely, I can't have you complaining about how unfair it is. Hmm. Um, in fact, on the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? Interesting? <laughs> it's about the one writing all those rules. They are actually one of the participants in this killing game. What? I don't think I ever actually told you how many participants there actually were, did I? Hmm. I was thinking I should probably clarify that. Hey, um... When you all got together in the main hallway, back when there were 15 people there, right? I think the first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. Um... Uh, in other words... There weren't actually 15 of you. Yes, indeed! The total number of students taking part in this killing game is actually 16. Yes, I, I, I figured that out because of the freaking empty place. I would call it a seat, but we don't actually sit in the trial, so... 16, then... Mukuro Ikusab, the 16th student, lying hidden somewhere in this school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. The 16th student, Mukuro Ikusaba, she's part of this school life. So the one making all the regulations is... Why? Huh? Did you say something? <laughs> Why are you telling us this? Hmm. Well, because... <laughs> like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings. And since we've got so many viewers now, I wanted to make sure everyone was on the same page. I don't want to wake up to a hero kind of complaints and hate mail, you know? Yes, indeed! Makes sense? Well, now! Uh, that's all you get from now. Oh, actually, I have some revenge to get, so I have an extra bonus for you. Revenge? <laughs> I want to get back at that sneaky Miss Kitty Hitty. So I'm gonna share a little secret with you. Hey, um... You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in, day out all the time? Well, don't tell anyone I told you, but... <laughs> she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. <laughs> now, that's all you get. <laughs> so, hideous scars. Uh, were there hideous scars on the corpse? The tattoo. Wait, but no. Monokuma is special. Oh, wait. Fenrir is the name of the legendary wolf. So the dog that person has on the hand, Mukuru Ikusaba, that is Fenrir. So she, she was part of this mercenary group. So it's not Kyoko. Unless Kyoko was in Fenrir too, which is very much possible because she's kind of like a militaristic type. Uh, 
That's why Kyoko wears those gloves. Which means... Those fake nails on the corpse. Hmm. Are you thinking about Kyoko again? Huh? What? Forget about her. What matters right now is uncovering Monokuma's trap. What do you mean? Such ignorance. God must have really hated you to make you so dull. Hmm. Don't you remember what Monokuma just told us? He said there were 16 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student That's here. Right. Obviously Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuro is the one creating the rules of the game. But why would he tell us that and why now? He said he wanted to make things clear so that there wouldn't be any complaints later. <laughs> but the mere fact that he said that proves that Mukuro is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the existence of a 16th student. He needs to make our investigation fair. Mukuro is related to the case, yep. She's either the killer or the killee. It's certainly possible. Uh, perhaps she's the one who killed Kyoko. Or perhaps she's the one being who was killed by Kyoko. What? Hmm. What? So, that would explain why we would have to have a class trial, wouldn't it? If she's a student and she killed someone, that would make her part of the class school killing game, huh? So, Mukuru's a killer, but we don't know that. Uh, anyone should be able to come to that conclusion, don't you think? In fact, that's exactly what I thought when the investigation first began. What? But based on what Monokuma just told us, I've changed my mind. It's all clear now. Mon uh, Mukuro Ikusaba isn't the culprit. Hmm. Uh, we thought Mukuro, the ultimate despair, was the mastermind through identity. But if that's true, Monokuma's behavior makes no sense. Why would the mastermind go out of their way to reveal themselves to us? So in other words... In other words, Mukuru giving us information that would raise questions about her would be bold, to say the least. It makes more sense then to assume that Mukuro isn't the culprit. So that's a trap. They want us to suspect Mukuro and come to the wrong conclusion. Hmm. Yep. So the way you say it, it definitely doesn't seem possible. But if that's really true, if Mukuro isn't the killer, who is it then? Hmm. Well then, I believe our work here is finished. Let us move on, I'm sure there are other places in need of investigation. I would find out if that key and the toy are really connected. Let's go. Yep. Oh, that was fast. We're in the dojo now. So... Key number six, right? There are wooden lockers. They use woodlock keys. Okay? Can you just open it? I see. Makoto, do you see the locker farthest to the right? Very strange. That's the only one that doesn't have a key. Uh, and also the freaking key had the number six on it. So, can we open it? That's right. I took out the woodblock key and inserted it in the thingy and the locker eagerly accepted the key, eagerly. How can a locker eagerly accept the key? Uh, there are arrows. Okay, <laughs> what's on the floor though? They look like they are made of titanium, which means they are quite strong. Uh, of course, without a bow, they are nothing but strong little sticks. We found strong sticks. Um, yeah, I want to see what's on the bottom. It's weighted up all the duct tape. I wonder what this is used for. Does it have blood in it? I see. Um, that means it must surely be related to the case. This duct tape is related to the case somehow. So, Kyoko killed the person, then she went to her room to hide the key. What? That's mind-blowing, I, I have no idea what's going on. 
I'm, I'm looking forward to the trial for them to tell me. I think that's all the locker has to offer for now. Is something wrong? Very strange. Uh, it is very strange. The locker was hiding items that were clearly related to the case. But how did the key to the locker wind up in the victim's room? Why? Or perhaps... Diego, yeah? Hmm. Forget it. Come on, we need to continue on to the next location. What is the next location? What? Uh, what else do we need to look into? We need to research Henry, huh? So we go into the library? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to the archive, man. Let's go. Piakuya really is taking care of this case. We don't need Kyoko hmm. at all. I believe there was a file related to Fenrir somewhere over here. Piakuya seemed to know the archive uh, like the back of his hand. Hmm. Here we go. He quickly turned with the file in hand. Well guys, we're gonna read that file but on the next part. So, uh, thank you for watching. Please leave a comment and see you next time. Goodbye.